Far Bureau Chief Colin Lamello's next with the growing call for paid sick leave as parts of the province reopen. Colin. Yeah, hey Nathan, we're outside Queen's Park right now where there's a small convoy of cars that have decided to encircle Queen's Park. These are advocates who are calling for paid sick leave, and that is set to become the first flashpoint of the session when the legislature resumes tomorrow morning. When the Ontario legislature opens its doors for the first time in 2021, paid sick days will be the first major battle. It'll give people hope uh, that they'll have the supports that they need uh, going forward. Public health experts and municipal leaders have been calling for a provincially mandated paid sick leave program. Frontline workers, they say, feel compelled to show up to their jobs even if they have symptoms because calling in sick just to get a COVID test costs them a shift and income. They're caring for our seniors in long-term care homes. Uh, they're keeping our, our food supply chain going at warehouses. They're bagging our groceries. They work in jobs that really can't be done at home. But the Premier has rebuffed those calls, pointing people instead to the federal government. Let's be very, very clear. There's no reason uh, for the province to jump in there. There's no reason for us to duplicate the $1.1 billion dollars uh, with the federal government. But critics argue that program is not a permanent solution. And now the NDP is looking to create a new law that would give every Ontario employee seven days of paid emergency leave, while employers would have access to provincial funds to recoup the costs. Look, if Ms. Sattler brings, uh, brings the bill forward for a debate in the House, we will certainly take the time to, uh, to, uh, to, to debate it. And ultimately, we've passed a number of pieces of, uh, of legislation that made sense for the people of, uh, of Ontario, but... Uh, uh, we'll see what she brings forward. But the Ford government has, in the past, demonstrated little interest. Back in 2018, the PC government passed a law that froze minimum wage at $14 an hour and repealed two days of paid emergency leave. So we don't have an assurance that this bill is going to be going forward, but we are hoping that they will listen to the public health advice. The legislature returns at 9 a.m. tomorrow. And when those doors open, there's going to be a new mandatory masking policies for all NPPs inside the legislature tomorrow. There is some concern that some NPPs, a couple of them, may choose not to wear their masks in protest of the pandemic laws. Uh, but MPPs on either side are telling me that they want this enforced. And the measures could be serious. MPPs who don't wear their masks could be kicked out for the session or even the entire year. Reporting live outside Queen's Park, I'm Colin DeBello. Back to you. Thank you, Colin.